The East Coast Digital Programme is the first phase of a national deployment of ERTMS. ETCS brings along fundamental changes to our operating environment, to what we're used to working with today, to what we're working with tomorrow. It's essential that we develop innovative solutions that maximises the potential benefits that ERTMS can deliver. So engineering teams between uh, DV Cargo and GTR have been meeting to share experience on lessons learned across the technical scope of the retrofit and the current roles that we already uh, operate in in ETCS. Govia Thameslink have already experienced the development and implementation of ERTMS through the uh, deployment of the Northern City Line. We're both moving things from A to B, we're moving commuters, they're moving aggregates, gravel, coal, and actually um, ETCS introduction is very similar for both of us and therefore we've been through it and we want to explain and, and learn from each other to make it the best for both of us. What GTR have done is they've shared with us the areas where that didn't go so well and the areas that did go well, so it gives DB Cargo an insight into the direction we should be going in and things we can avoid. At the end of the day, with the East Coast Digital Programme, and with this significant rollout of ETCS, there's certain lessons that should be shared and this is a real uh, good example of how collaboration should be done within the railway. We're using the current platform uh, of the ECDP and the operational experience that we've gained and the technical experience we've gained to share across other operators in order to ensure that we have no knowledge loss across the network. We're learning a phenomenal amount of lessons and what we wouldn't want to do is the community of operators on the East Coast Digital Programme is for them to go through that process again which would add cost and time and effort in. GTR have a vast experience of working with ETCS suppliers. We gain a lot, a lot of knowledge based off of that on how to uh, engage with the supplier, how to engage with the projects around supply of ETCS, the standards that we're here to introduce and to maintain. DB Cargo and GTR, we've been communicating and, and having meetings and conversations and, and lessons learned and sim visits because, and, and we didn't want to wait for anybody else to tell us to do it, we wanted to go ahead and, and make sure we were doing that ourselves and be a bit proactive on collaboration. If we work in silos, no lessons are learned. If no collaboration happens, no one benefits whatsoever. We have to understand whether it's a freight operating company, a train operating company, on-track machinery, heritage and charter, we are all in this together and it's for the benefit of the UK.